don't say, do you want to go for a walk around a werewolf? That's how graphic it gets. Hello, welcome back to another episode of uh, Getting Graphic with Matt. Today, I want to talk about fangs. It is possibly the shortest read that I, I will talk about on this series. But honestly, I bought it myself a couple of weeks ago and I read it every couple of days because it's just the cutest little love story between a vampire and a werewolf. And it's just beautifully written and beautifully illustrated by uh, Sarah Anderson, who you might know from Sarah Scribbles. Very, very prominent online uh, kind of web, web card. Web card dudes? Web dudes. Fantastic illustrator online who uses the internet for her powers. I am hesitant to say if you like Twilight, because this is nothing like Twilight, this is good. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've seen the Twilight saga five or seven times. Love that stuff, great. But this is a little bit more mature. It's genuinely just a beautiful love story between a several hundred year old vampire lady and a werewolf who might look a little bit similar to me, but you know, actually good looking. It's just them living their life like watching TV, trying to figure out how to go outside, you know, just doing the best in a situation where you know, one of them is a, an immortal bloodsucker and the other one turns into a dog every month. It's the perfect thing to have on your table if it's raining outside, having a cup of coffee and just flick through a couple of pages and, and it's, a, it's a perfect rainy day read. So yeah, if you want a little bit of romance in your life with, you know, a bit of, a, bit of a goth vibe, of course, check out Fangs. You will love it. And if you don't, get better tastes.